for Shannon Peak before she steps in the ring. She'll have a lot of support here herself as we'll send it up to Christo to uh, introduce Megan Beverick. And ladies and She is entering the ring is Megan Burbrick. Both fighters in the ring. And uh, we'll send it up to Christo to do the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout for the WBC featherweight state title, sponsored by Johnny Two Thumb, fought over five by two minute rounds. Out of the blue corner, weighing in at 57 kilos even, with a record of eight wins from 12 bouts. Trained by Duke out of the Bailey fight team. Uh, please welcome once again, uh, Shannon Peake. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner and weighing in at 56.7 kilos, with a record of 10 wins and one draw from 14 bouts. Trained by Team Riddler out of Riddler's gym. Uh, once again, please welcome Megan Burbrick. always look in great shape but the females are looking really strong they look like they've maybe added some strength and conditioning into their into their training uh, you can see that their shoulders are really defined their midlines are really defined it's, it's really good to see the ladies are trying to steal the show here the Muay Thai Grand Prix and they're <laughs> doing a pretty good job at it mind you even in the commentary positions <laughs> <laughs> so Bill Seth finally <laughs> final instructions as we're about to get this one underway again it's the one we've been looking forward to the WBC state title in the featherweight division it is Shannon Peake taking on Megan Berberick it's Bailey's taking on Riddler's Always been a healthy rivalry there as well, isn't there, Kaylee? Yeah, I mean, they go way back, Darren and Darren and Adam. They've trained for a long time. There's always that healthy rivalry. You know, you always want to, want to obviously want to win, but there's always that respect too, and it just comes down to that Muay Thai tradi tradition. That's what we like. Five two-minute rounds for this for the title. They're ready. Hugs all around. Yeah, that's it. Burberry coming out of the red corner, peak out of the blue. Both girls are pretty tall though, aren't they? They are quite tall, yeah. But again, uh, Burberry with the, uh, the, the height advantage. And here we go, round one. Nice start there by Peak. Burberry, uh, Fires back. A couple of nice Ooh. shots thrown by the girls there. Nice and nice and technical. What a nice punch on her is Burbrick, hasn't she? Yeah, they both actually have decent hands, these girls, so it'll be interesting to see where one dominates over the other. Kicking battle so far, back and forth action early on. You actually see Shannon sort of moves quite similarly to Caitlin, which are, they can obviously come from the same gym. Uh, they look sort of, they carry that same strong stance with their hands and that sort of walk forward style. They both are uh, throwing about the same number of kicks, but it's the hands of Burbrick is the slight difference at the moment. Hear direct instructions from from the red corner. Yeah, we're close enough to a commentary position to hear that. It's uh, good advice as well, I might add. Beautiful kicks being landed there by Megan. You can see as Shannon comes forward throwing. Megan's actually firing off her kicks and they are landing at the same time. I think she's uh, settled quite well. Yeah. Again, the rounds are going to go very quick. She's only got 20 seconds left in round one, but. Uh, both fighters having their moments, but again, Burbrick has settled very nicely here. Beautiful left kick to the body. She's finishing off the round very nicely, so again, probably leaving the impression as we say, that nice kick there by Peak. A couple of good knees there from Megan. 
But was it uh, too little, too late for that round? That's the question. But uh, again, going to be an interesting uh, time for the judges in that one, that's for sure. So we'll go for a quick break. away again big thanks to johnny two thumb tattoo studio find him right here in myrie in perth as we go into round two of this very intriguing title fight between shannon peak and megan burbrink very close first round so far a very similar start to round two yeah both girls when they throw they're both throwing very good punches and kicks Nice and straight, and they're very technical, and they're, and they're landing every time. I was saying at the time that Burbrick was finishing off the round very strong, but the last word was got in, got in by Peak. So, nice knee there. Yeah, beautiful. Score. I think a better position there is by Burbrick using her height advantage. Nice kick there by Peak. Definitely. You want to definitely try and get that top lock on, which is the, that perfect position in the clinching. Try and pull that head down, and obviously, knee to the head is the, would be the perfect opportunity. Catch and release case. Good, nice push kick there. Good, nice left kick there by Shannon. Isn't that hard advantage by Megan? Is just working in her favour that little bit. She's landing those push kicks. Mm. Obviously that. That clinching position there, she can get a nice top lock on as well. And a nice punch off the break there with our exchanging kicks, but it was nice checking there by Megan Berber. Nice catch there again. Twenty seconds left in round two. They're going very quickly, aren't they? Because of the action, it's a yeah. furious pace. Technical, such a, it's such a, uh, a well-matched fight too. It's very even in, in experience, even in uh, ability. So it's easy to watch. The, the time goes fast. Yeah, exactly. And again, that is a very, very tough round of score. Wouldn't want to be a judge in this one, that's for sure. But uh, going back to the corner, if you were in the corner of Megan Burbrick, what would you be saying? What, do, you, do you think you need to make any changes to sort of make sure you got the edge? I think uh, her actual game on the outside as well. Her kicks are working well for her. Her punches are working well for her. But I would like to see her pushing forward into the clinch a little bit more. She's got that height over Shannon where she can get that top lock on. And once she's got that top lock on, it is very hard to get it off. Uh, so I'd like to see her pushing forward into that clinch and, and racking up some points with the knees. And what about for Peak? What would her corner advice be for her heading into round three? I think to stay away from the clinch and try and use her, her movement and her, uh, her kicks and her punches. I, th I, think they, I think they know that Megan's going to come forward into that clinch and I think they're going to probably want to try and stay away from that. Peak did very good. It was, she was in a, a precarious position uh, and she did well to get off the ropes and, uh, and, and get that distance there, midway point of round two. So here we go, round three. Title fight on the line. Beautiful kicks there by Megan. Shannon coming forward and Megan kicking straight off what she's throwing. It's that quality there. She's just landing in the right areas. Isn't yeah. Peak? And a nice punch there by Peak as we say that. Another one. Nice footwork there by Peak to elude those kicks. But again, as we say that, Burbrick lands with a straight kick to the head. Yeah, she's really taken a, a good, strong centre stance there, Megan. She's not really shifting much. She's taken that strong stance in the centre of the ring there and not letting Shannon move her around too much. Nice block and return there by Burbrick. Hey. 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 
energy. These girls are tough. They know what's on the line and they're giving it their all. They want this title badly and they're showing it. Nice kick there by Burberry. Another one. It's like Shannon's trying to almost find a way to get in. She keeps getting caught with that. With she that set the trap then and got the clinch and started going with these knees. And that is a telling moment this round. She set the trap beautifully. Great work by Burbrick there. 30 seconds left in round three. Uh, now, Megan should know she should have that confidence now to go forward. She knows that she's better in the clinch. She's stronger. She's got the height. She should be moving forward now and really locking on and, and using it to her advantage. That should be her key to victory, really, shouldn't it? And Pete, she needs to you know, keep that distance. She's, she, she's still got good hands and uh, she's handy with the feet as well. So another nice kick as we say that by Burberry. Wow. End of round three. And that's probably, uh, I have to say, that might be the easiest round to, in, of the fight to score so far. You yeah. never know what the judges are thinking. but you don't uh, know what the judges are no. uh, thinking, but I think that uh, when they landed in that clinch, I think that was a very, I'm still a saying very... it's a close round, but I'm saying that... That it, would have separated. That would have probably separated them. that little bit there where she set the trap, yeah. got the clinch, and then landed, landed the those knees. That was knees. a massive turning point for that round. Again, <laughs> the time is flying because of the pace these girls are setting and the, the quality as well. The standard is very high uh, and it's just flying by. We're already at round four. I, I know they're quick rounds, but they're going through quicker than expected. I think, yeah, I th you know, the, the title's on the line. They're, they're not leaving anything in there, are they? They're really no. going for it. But they're in, in prime physical condition as well because they're not blowing hard. No. The, the, the cardio was good as we head into round four. Great fight so far, and when you've got a title on the line at a major event like the Muay Thai Grand Prix, you know they've got to bring it. You can always see the difference in um, the statue when they're standing there. Shannon's quite strong, walking at, walking forward a little bit. Megan's really relaxed, you know, she fires off that kick really quickly. Nice work then by Peak. And there's the clinch that we're talking about. Nice work by Pete to get out of it. Nice front kick there by Burbrick. Oh, another nice front kick by uh, by Burbrick. They're starting to land up and starting to add up. That's the difference then. Nice yeah. kicks there. The, 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 the quality kicks, of kicks. You really don't want to la keep landing into those push kicks too much. They they do take the wind out of you, and, and knowing that they're, they're coming too, it's like, how do I get around this? This thing is coming towards my stomach all the time. How do I get around it? And that's probably what Shannon's thinking too. It just keeps coming up, keeps coming up, keeps coming up. She's adjusted well, and she knows what she needs to do to get the upper hand. She's waiting for opportunity. Don't get me wrong, Peak is, is putting on a good account of herself. Landing punches and kicks of her own. Another nice kick there by Burbrick. Nice footwork by Peak to get out of distance of that kick that Burbrick was about to throw. She, she knows that she's wanting to walk forward into the clinch. You can see Megan, she's reaching out. Looking for that clinch, but Shannon doesn't want to be in there. She's, she's, she's given us something to think about, isn't yeah. she? Another quick round gone by. With, again, it's just the pace that's been non-stop for four full rounds. It's been very impressive by both ladies here. Putting on a show, stealing the show. Great round of action here at Curtin Stadium as we head to a quick break.
fifth and final round again once again thanks to Johnny Two Thumb Tattoo Studio fifth and final round of this title fight the WBC state title is on the line Brett Bonetti here at ringside with six time former Muay Thai world champion Kaylee Reese enjoying the action aren't we it's been magnificent it's, it's great I'm loving this fight. I'm loving the technique shown by both girls. The power in the shots, the uh, the accuracy of the shots. It, it's the it's the standard and quality. It's not scrappy. It's really clean and uh, and high quality stuff. Yeah. If you look at the two uh, the two gyms that they're coming from, obviously. Shannon, Spoke about them, yeah. Shannon, Shannon's trained by the Ties that have obviously great amount of experience. Then we've got Darren and the boys are down at Riddler's, so they've got good trainers. Good background behind them, and that they're uh, there. We go. Look, this is basically uh, what Shannon might like, and turn the tables a little bit. She's keeping uh, Burbrick in that position, and Burbrick turns the tables and start landing knees of her own. This is, this is playing in a Burbrick that, name, though. Game, though, isn't it? It's just got that reach over her, yes. over her head. Is it's a bad position for Shannon's head to be in. Punch there by Peak. Thirty seconds left in this title fight. Unbelievable fight. This round's still up for grabs. Those teeps are great. Landing yeah. every time, keeping Shannon right where she, where she wants her. Well, he's been one of their keys to victory is the, 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 the front kick and the clinch. But we'll see what the judges think as we come to the end of a highly, high quality final fight. And it lived up to expectations, that's for sure. Both fighters very happy. They should be very proud of themselves. They just want the victory now and then goes over to the judges to see what they come up with. I'm kind of sitting on the edge of my seat here. Yeah. I, really want to, I really want to cheer, so I'm I, saying nothing. I'm just enjoying the action and calling, and I can't <laughs> wait for the decision because, again, it was intriguing. Both fighters had their moment, especially in round one and two. I thought round three was clearly Burbrick. And I think probably from then is probably when she really did take over and showed her class and showed, just probably utilised her weapons. And, and again, I love the way she set that trap. She waited for Pete to come in, grabbed her with the clinch and started using those knees. That was the key moment of the fight. Yeah, they definitely were. The, that, that was the, the game changer, I think. She really had that top lock on, landing some great straight knees down down the middle of uh, Shannon. So we see the WBC representative in the, uh, the, green in the ring now with the green belt that one of these girls are going to get and they both desperately want. We're going to send it up to Christo right now and find out who's won. Ladies and gentlemen, put them together once more for these two fabulous ladies. What a great bout. And in the ring to present the WBC featherweight state title is Pon Mardi from the WBC. We have a unanimous judge's decision in favour of the red corner, <laughs> Megan Burbrick. It's taking a bit of a moment there. Yeah, it is the way that I saw the fight going. Uh, I would have been surprised if it got awarded to Peak, but uh, but again, that's probably the way that I saw the fight going, especially after round three. Yeah, okay? definitely. So yeah, both fight, both girls had a great fight. Their yeah. shots, their shots were impeccable, uh, landing with such great accuracy. So they should both be really proud of themselves. And we can see we're going to have a quick chat to uh, from with Christo now. Megan Burbrick. Wow, um, I have no words. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Shannon for the fight. Um, <laughs> as soon as it was matched, I knew you were an incredibly tough opponent. I pretty much thought about this every minute of the day and worked oh, probably the hardest I have today. Um, and that was because of you, so thank you so much. Um, there's, 
not a fight without the opponent. It takes two to tango. So I'm so, so, so grateful um, for the match and I wish her the best. Um, she really made that a fun match. And my corner. Oh my God. You guys are the best. <laughs> um, and I just want to say a huge thank you to my partner. Um, he has been absolutely incredible. Yeah, the dream boat. Woo. <laughs> um, he Good came boy. in and trained trained with me for weeks on end um, and it just really helped me out. Um, yeah. <laughs> congratulations, well done. A big congratulations to the new WBC state featherweight champion, Megan Burbrick. Very well deserved. And, uh, and again, what she said in her speech as well, takes two to tango. Full credit to uh, Shannon Peake because again, that's how far female combat sports has evolved as well because it's just a high quality fight. It was just uh, action packed from start to finish and uh, both of them should be very proud of themselves, especially the new champion.